Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Focus on signing artists and being a CEO of a label. Like, I'm gonna get old one day. I ain't trying to be on stage like Boosie. Rapping when he 40, 50 years old. I ain't trying to be doing that. I want to pull up like Birdman with my artists up. Pull up like QCP with my artists up. Or, 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 or you know, the, the other side. You know, I don't or, you know, say that name. I don't, I don't care. But I don't, I don't answer to nobody but God. You hear me? I do not answer to nobody but God. So this song right here, this shit might say some shit that you probably just be like, oh, so trip. I don't I don't answer nobody but God. So, and then I'm going to say some pious shit. I'm going to do the right thing by the people. I ain't going to say no old bad shit. But I, I might slip and say some shit, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, they don't mean turn, I ain't telling y'all this follow. This. Wow. Wow, man. Hey, Rollo. Rollo fam go, man. Um... Boosie done spoke back. Uh, it, it looked like looked like uh, the internet is uh, in for a treat uh, uh, when two rappers meet. You know, it, it's going down, man. So uh, I seen this earlier where Rollo, and make sure you got like subscribe to the channel. But I seen this earlier where Rollo had spoken. I didn't look at it as a diss because he, uh, to me, it was like I don't want to be like Boosie rapping at forty fifth, but. I guess it was a side diss when he said that because uh, Boosie responds and and Boosie says, I have not spoken on you on you in years, Rollo fam goon. You still hurt by what you did, what you did. LOL. I'm grateful that I'm still making 150 K a weekend and selling out shows. You don't have a rap career and will never have one. And you hurt, right. And, and, and you right. You should be a CEO because one thing you can't do is make music. God did not give you that talent. Leave hip hop alone is the hashtag he put in there. Every other month you mentioning me, shaking my head, get me off your mind and stop using my name for clout. You got my line. If you want to tell me something, I'm the same nigga did a verse in a video for free for you when, when you was locked up and refused to take the 10K you was trying to pay me. You get no points for shitting like this. Anyway, I'm about to listen to these beats and make some music. I just hope you're not doing the same thing. So Boosie is pretty much outing him on the fact of, I hope you're not trying to make music. So he claps back to say, I tried to give you a verse. Uh, uh, I mean, I gave you a, a verse, um, for 10k, you know the 10k. I didn't even take it. You offered it and I didn't take your money I did it for free is what Boosie's saying Rollo is just basically uh, Got an issue with uh, it was some stuff going on where Boosie had spoke on his business and Basically, it was some like some telling stuff going on where Boosie uh, Sidestepped him on a deal where he felt like he shouldn't have did something he did in the court of law or whatever But whatever have you this here still goes on. Rollo say he ain't tripping on nobody. He don't fear nothing but God, you know, and I'm, I'm just sitting back looking at two, really both of them. I rock with Rollo and I rock with Boosie. Both of them, I listen to both of them. They got, you know, I like Rollo just because of his stance and the way he, you know, he come back out here. He repping, he a Muslim now. He's, you know, doing his music. Any brother that's trying to come up and stay out of that penitentiary. I'm rocking with them as well. So both of these brothers been locked up. And I, you know, people sitting back to see what's gonna happen with this whole beef thing. But I got my boy, OG Pyru. He gonna definitely uh, let me know what he think about it. Uh, OG, were you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boss Talk 101. I told us in the house. Man, what's going on, man? Uh, you you see Boosie, you know, Boosie back in the in the in the in the heat of fire again. And and like I said, this one here, Boosie wasn't he just was sitting back and this one come shot him in the side. You know, Rollo say he don't want to be 40 or 50 rapping like Boosie doing, try to keep his real career going. He wanna be a CEO like Birdman and these other guys and want, you know, pull up on the artists that he represent. But Boosie got some artists too. He just still out there and can do the job, and people are responding to him, and it's a bag. What you think? But, but how, how old is Rollo? I don't know, man. I have to look that up. Let me look that up right quick. I don't know how old Rollo is, but he's saying he don't want to be like Boot, like you know, like Boosie well, I mean, him. I mean, if he ain't already a CEO, he ain't going in the right direction. You say he's been to prison, right? Yeah, him. Yeah, they both been to prison. Rollo twenty nine. Rollo twenty nine. 
Okay, so uh, he, he a youngster here. Well, 29, he on, he on the edge. If he ain't a CEO already, so, uh, and he got a strike against him. I don't even, I never heard any of his music. He used, he, used, he used to be with Rich Gang, and, and, and uh, like I say, he just got out. He's a Muslim. Uh, when he came home, you know, he's a Muslim, and he, he did a few songs, and he's been working. Uh, he's been rapping, but I guess he's just saying he don't want to do it, you know. Uh, for He don't want to just continue to do it. I get what he's saying. I mean, but using Boosie as a reference, I don't know about that. Everybody in the world want to be a CEO. If we had everybody that wanted to be a CEO, we wouldn't have no workers. <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. You got a point there. So everybody inspire, but you got your working class and you got your upper class. So uh, if he ain't made it now, he didn't. Apparently, he didn't made some mistakes while, by going to prison. So he better keep on rapping and hoping he can get 150. So you think? Yeah, you think he ought to go there? Yeah, like Boots said, he getting 150 k a show. I don't know if I walk away from that bag either, though. <laughs> You know, one thing of you, I mean, you're a boss. You're, you're a boss talk one-on-one. One thing about you being a boss, you can never take a vacation. You got to never. do your business 24-7. Never. Always got to be producing. So people t aspire to be in bosses, but you ain't, if you don't have the tenacity, if you don't have the work, y'all, you, you, you want to rap when you want to rap. But in, in, in a CEO game, you got to be on the net every day. So he talking. But I ain't seen no footwork. I think with him just coming home, I, I think he can do some great things. If he can get some artists, you know, the music game didn't change so much. You know, you know the magic words you just said? If. If, yeah, yeah. Because the music game ain't the same as when he got locked up. You know, no, they, no. people were doing 360 deals and people were doing, you know, a little side deals. The, the music, even the streaming, the money was still lucrative. This was pre-COVID. Uh, Things was moving a little bit more, you know. I think now when it comes to the music, it just, uh, the women is, they being known a little bit more. They they taking a little bit more of the era. And, you know, I just don't see the dudes just pushing like they was. But. No, it, TikTok, the game is locked. Nobody else. <laughs> TikTok, the game is locked. Now, OG Pyru say TikTok, the game is locked. It definitely is different. It ain't like it used to be. And I just, I just know that, you know, these guys, man, this internet, again, OG, you know how it is. If you speak somebody's name and you, and you uh, it, in my heart, you might be to learn the game because a lot of times that's how you got to bring it now in order to be relevant and then push them with the music, you know? That's right. So it's a whole game change. And if he done picked up on it, this could be... This could be what that is. I'm just telling you. I mean, you know, you look at Yosemite Sam. Right now, he drowning. So he's on every platform trying to talk because the music business ain't his business no more. Correct. Yeah. A lot of times this music, it'll play itself out for these guys and they ain't got nothing else to do. So the Internet is all they got left. And if they didn't get in it and then if they ain't talented enough to, to stay relevant on it, it's not going to work for them on that. Because music and being on this uh, uh, podcasting or being on these vlogs, it's not the same. It's a transition, you know. That's right. So, man, I, let, let me let me just say, man, uh. As OG said, is Rollo uh, at an age now where he got to bring it and he got to bring it hardcore uh, and is Boosie the object? You know, like, what do you guys think? Uh, do, how do you feel about Boosie's response? Should Boosie have responded to Rollo? Y'all got to let us know, man. Get in the comments and let us know if Boosie should have even responded to Rollo. Was Rollo wrong for throwing his name in that whole situation? Let us know, man. Make sure you guys get in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel. Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk. It's a Boss Talk 101 review. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.